heard any good gossip lately? The accompanying devotion in my book, Not Always All Together, is one that I have reworked for this book. But this devotion has gone worldwide. I guess in the days before we called things viral, it went viral for a period of time. It was shared in church groups, in youth groups, and in mission organizations. Why? Because it addresses a subject that most Christian organizations have to deal with one way or another, and that's in the area of gossip. Now, there's too many teachings out there on the dangers of negative gossip, so I'm not going to go there. But I wanted to talk about finding gold in the lives of other people who others might misunderstand. And when you discover that gold, to share that gold with others. So you're basically gossiping good behind another person's back. A good example of this might be somebody who you don't really have a heart connection with. Perhaps you don't quite see the world the same way. Uh, perhaps they're a little bit OCD and you are a fly by the seat of your pants sort of person. Whatever the differences are, you just never have really understood them. Ask the Lord to show you some of the motivations behind what, they, what they're doing that drive you a little bit crazy. A good example is somebody who um, is a perfectionist. If you go to a church where you have to set up the chairs and tear down the chairs, and they're the type of person who they would get a straight edge out to measure the space between the chairs if they were given a chance. And you're somebody who just wants to get the seats down in a row, but it didn't really matter to you if they weren't lined up perfectly. You could perhaps think this person is a control freak or is just too picky or is a perfectionist. Perhaps God sees them as somebody who just really wants to bless other people. And in doing so, they're going to do the very best job that they can do and they want everybody else to do the very best job that they can do so others are blessed. Perhaps they see the world through straight lines. So if somebody is walking into the church, perhaps they think if they see all perfectly straight lines, uh, then they'll be blessed as well. The motivation behind people's actions is something that we as humans will never completely know unless we ask them. If there's somebody in your life who you just don't get, ask the Lord, what does he love about them? And then when the Lord shows that to you, be the first to tell the good news to other people. Spread some good gossip today.